everybody welcome back to another tech tip video bringing it to you right here JJ the question was somebody asked me a while back was um, can the B450 motherboard from Asus get Windows 11 and I told them yes the purpose of that was is because I have the B450 motherboard it's the C slash M or M or <laughs> I get confused on it. But anyway, it's B450 motherboard from Asus. Can it get Windows 11? Yes. Can, how do I get Windows 11 on my PC? Well, I said like this, I said the B450 motherboard can get Windows 10 and 11. It's not advertised that the B450 can um, can get Windows 11 because you really got to look deep to find out. Because if you go onto ASUS website, ASUS.com, you can see that the support in um, the mother the the BIOS section for your motherboard will state if it can do it or not so by looking at all of them I did see in the support update biases that the fourth what is it the 4-8-2021 that uh, by, um, Asus did a bias update for Windows 11 default so basically it automatically default to Windows 11 if you upgrade so, on that note, I went a little further, so I updated to the latest BIOS for this motherboard. Now, the, the B450M-AII, okay, the specific latest version is 3802. So, if you're wondering what it is, you go to A ASUS website and take and turn around. Right there. The latest bias, 3802. By 12.5.2022. I'll flip you all around. I'm doing this by myself, but give me, give me, uh, <laughs> there we go. We're adjusted now. Okay, as you can see, there is the latest update. Okay, and they asked me the question again. Will the latest BIOS automatically update Windows 11? Let me upgrade to Windows 11 my bad and I said yes because I myself have done it to where I can see if I can update to Windows 11 and believe it or not I can so what I'm going to do is show you you can right there this PC can run Windows 11 okay this PC can run Windows 11 it's on my screen so I know I did it correctly so if you were wondering that, yes, you can update to Windows 11. I would imagine most, any, any, I'm not going to sound like uh, a person that's just going to gossip about it, but it's the truth because I tested it out myself. So knowing that I can go up to Windows 11, that made me happy. So now I got a... a $79 motherboard with a Ryzen 5000 series chip which is about 130 bucks for the chip 
So with those two components alone, I mean, eh, a little bit over 200 bucks just for those two. Let's just say that. So, but now these days you go to look for something better. Your B, B, your 400 series and your 500 series most definitely should be able to go up to the next level. If you don't want to stay with Windows 10, then yes, you can go to Windows 11. But that's up to you. Me, right now, I'm on Windows 10. I haven't upgraded yet to Windows 11 because I still want to, fit, you know, test out more about this motherboard. I want to test it with the graphics card. I want to test it with many of things. That's coming in the future testing. So I'm just taking one motherboard and I'm testing the piston, uh, complete everything about it. What graphics it can do, max graphics it can do, what max RAM it can do, what max hard drive or NVMe drive, you know, what's the best cooler for it and everything else. That's more to come as time progresses. I'm just taking one motherboard that's the cheapest on the market right now because you, if you can find a motherboard cheaper than 79 bucks that's actually 400 series or better then that's the that's the deal that's the best way to go not unless you're waiting for the 7000 series and DDR5 and everything else but if you can't afford you can't afford a, a decent computer and it's best just to build your own and if you don't know how to build your own they're not hard to build just to let you know but that's up to you me I built I built my own I'm testing my own and I'm showing my own okay Asus didn't pay me to say anything AMD didn't pay me to say anything. Nobody paid me to say anything. This is just a video that I'm making on my own. You know, this is my project that I'm sharing with the world, sharing with you all. So if you're going to be adventurous and build your own computer, which hobbyists like myself love to build their own computers, you know, this is the best way to go. Now, the question is, is that everybody has is, um, with the B450 motherboard, how hard is it to uh, update the BIOS? Well, this motherboard's got BIOS flashback. Some B450 motherboards don't have BIOS flashback, but this one does. And I will say it was easy. After, after me watching, like, one review on how to update the motherboard from, um, update the BIOS in the motherboard without having the processor in there and, and um, the RAM, just the motherboard itself, that was pretty easy. So you just plug in the power supply to the motherboard, you don't turn it on. Then, you know, you get your um, your flash drive. Let me see if I got it. Yeah, a flash drive. Right here. This is just a 7 gig hard drive. Or flash drive. So, if you're looking to update, it's very easy. You go into Asus website. You download the latest motherboard. You do the you do the upgrading through. Um, I'm I'm just gonna say it real quick. I'll just take and download it real quick and take you through it. So what we'll do is we'll download it. We'll save it. Here, I'll turn you guys around. You can see what I'm doing. Uh, 
Okay, so got the latest bias. Got it saved. We'll show in the folder. Then what you want to do is you want to create a new folder. You want to create a new folder. Rename the actual folder. Just put like bias. 2022. Okay, hit enter. Take and drag and drop it into that folder. Open up the folder. Now, you can use 7-zip or, you know, you can use WinRare. I use WinRare. So, you want to extract it here. Okay, so you get two folders, or you get two things. You, one, you get BIOS Renamer, and you get the BIOS itself. So what you want to do is you want to rename the BIOS. Okay, so what you do is you'll run it as administrator. I'll ask you to press any key to continue. And boom, that's it. It's done. So what you're going to want to do is you want to take the, the same the same one here, this one here. You're going to want to pop it into your PC. And then you're going to want to copy the new name the it'll, it'll say it'll say pb 450 ma2 the renamed bias the updated bias the 3802 you want to copy it go down to where your um, flash card is which mine's on e and then you want to paste it Boom. This is the only thing you want in that, that flash card. You don't want anything else. And then all you do is after you're done, you, you come down here and you eject. And when you see it's safe to remove hardware, then it's done. Turn you guys around. Okay. So now I have a fre uh, the fresh bias, but I've already updated my bias to the latest bias. So all you do is you pop it into the back. There, there should be a marking on the motherboard for which um, plug-in to use for your uh, USB. It should have a white circle around it or it should indicate on the the back plate for the motherboard of where to plug this in. And then there should be a button that's a black a little black button on, on there. You press that in, you hold it, and It'll start flashing, and when it's done flashing, it will, believe it or not, it will um, update your BIOS. It's not hard, and it's very simple. After that's done, then you build your computer, start it up, and go from there. Just start your build, and do it just the way you're going to do it. So, simple, easy, and done. Mine, I can go up to Windows 11. So, I'm happy with it. But anyway, this video has gotten really long. So, 
we will talk more about this in the next video so do have a great day and remember be, building a PC is not hard it's just finding the right information to do the job so y'all have a fine day and we'll be talking back with you soon